LaMelo Ball and Tyrese Halliburton lead their teams in similar ways. Tonight, these two forces collide, and only one will be victorious. You're now rocking with the realist. Yeah. The one, the only, Ball Facts. This is the Charlotte Hornets versus the Indiana Pacers. Plumlee and Turner jump it up, and LaMelo Ball has it. First possession to Charlotte. No, had a really good win against LaMelo kicks things off with a subtle pass to Plumlee that catches the defenders off guard. Just drive his man and get a bucket. That was really fun to see for him. A quick hezzy, then he strolls through the lane like a walk in the park. And the middle ball with That's a sweeping easy. shot off the glass. 14 straight games he's had 20 or Tyrese wants to get in on the action. Halliburton in the lane. We got ourselves a game. Hit the big shot. MB1 will raise the stakes, split the defense, and score on the center. They trade assist, and then LaMelo sits. Melo won't sit for long because Dennis Smith Jr. makes him stand up. And that's a foul after the dunk, and the Pacers are going to trail. Then bad news for the Hornets. Melo starts racking up fouls. So far, the Hornets remain in control of the game. Similar to their last win versus Milwaukee, they started off locked in, and LaMelo was the tip of the spear. Offensively, he was picking the Pacers apart. Unfortunately, he would get his third foul early in the second quarter. Halliburton sees an opening, and he'll take it. The Pacers begin to cut into the lead. And all Melo can do at this point is cheer on his teammates. Melo set most of the second quarter. When he left the game, they were up double digits. Going into halftime, they're down. In the third quarter, there's ground to make up, but Melo doesn't start off the right way. No matter how good LaMelo is playing, if he can't stay on the court, it doesn't matter. His frustration is building, and the Pacers will now target him to try to foul him out. With a quick three, Melo snatches the lead right back. Halliburton looks to answer. LaMelo Ball is always up for a little back and forth. The game is all tied up. We've seen them go back and forth with scoring. Now let's watch them do it with some assist. Everybody was waiting for something. Right. And Turner puts it in. Lamella will take a quick breather, and in the meantime, Tyrese Halliburton will have a few more highlight passes. That boy dropping time. 35 years old, native of Wyoming, here's the alley Coming back in the fourth, MB1 wants to finish what he started. And remember, they took the 
14-point lead at the end of the first and the start of the second. As they call a timeout immediately. All night, Melo's been feeling like the Pacers have been getting their foul calls and not the Hornets. Alden, the Hornets just had it to nine. He goes inside, up and under, no good. Martin got the rebound and a technical foul on ball. Technical foul has been called. the other way with heel to shoot the technical well, free throw. Yeah, we got a chance to see put him out there because he's going to have to play the foul. And that's his fifth foul. Mello is subbed out and Tyrese is subbed in. It's about time for Melo to get off the bench. Now we'll see who will close this thing out. Who clutch? He had 20 points, 10 rebounds, and three blocks. He took a dribble. He did a nice job just going over the top of his ear. 90 seconds to play, tied at 104. Ball. Wrap around pass. Washington for three. And it's a three point lead for the score quarter three. He did Washington has had himself a pick in the game. After those two great assists, the game is still all tied up. Melo's attempt to draw a foul has backfired. Melo has fouled out, and Tyrese can almost already taste the victory. The Hornets would get a chance to save the game. Plumley gets fouled on the play, but the refs don't see it. One sixteen to one eleven, the Hornets lose to the Pacers by five points. Here's what Tyrese said about the matchup. What are these fourth quarters, these games like for you when you're playing a point guard like a Lamelo Ball? You two are going back and forth like you have lately. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. I mean, I think you gotta uh, love the opportunities to play against other great players. Um, it's, it kind of comes down to who can make the most plays down the stretch. Tyrese had 16 points and 13 assists in 35 minutes, and Lamelo had. 13 points and 8 assists in 24 minutes. Melo shot 41% from the field and Tyree shot 40. Halliburton got the W and Lamelo got a lot of fouls. Exciting game, a lot of back and forth. Would have been a lot more exciting had Lamelo played more. Get in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this matchup. Did you enjoy it? If you like these facts and want more, subscribe to the channel. This is happening. It's happening. And I'm... Ball facts again.